What is up? Today's verse is Jude one twenty two, and I memorized this thing. It says, "Be merciful to those whose faith is wavering." And I like that. I saw that yesterday. It was on the Bible app, and I don't know for some reason it just like kind of like opened my eyes because everyone kind of has a reason and a justification for everything that they do. Like no one's gonna do something wrong for absolutely no reason, unless they're literally just crazy. So if you have like a family member or a friend or just whoever, some random dude that you find on the street, they always have a reason for what they're doing. And I know like it can sound crazy, but like there's always a reason. And it's like, to you, it might seem completely stupid, whatever they're doing. But to them, they justified it in some way. And, like, it could just be doubt. Or, like, let's say one of your friends is getting away from the Lord and you don't know why. Ask them, because they might have a good reason. And, I mean, no reason's a good reason to get away from the Lord, but you know what I mean. Like... In their mind, they might have just had something that, like, really um, kind of tested their faith. And they're just not passing the test. You know what I'm saying? But let's get to driving. I got a good four hours of sleep last night after hitting chest for, like, an hour at 12. So that was kind of cool. But I'm so tired. I want nothing more than going to sleep right now. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll take a nap after church or something probably but this morning i ate two oranges and the first one tasted so good which is why i got another one but then the second one absolutely disgusting it was like rotten dude it was so bad i didn't eat the whole thing obviously but that made me sad because i was really excited to eat that second orange sometimes Life gives you two oranges. And the second one's not good. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Um, but I have not found a 600cc motorcycle that I can get yet. So I still have my 500, but that's okay. It's still pretty fun. And honestly, I don't even really see a point in me getting a 600 yet. So I might just keep the 500. And then, like, if somebody offers me a good price on it, then I'll sell it. But I just, like, I don't really know, dude. I don't... What the heck? There's a Ford Ranger that drove past me, and it has, like, a trough on the back. The thing looks dope. I would show you, but it's not that cool. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like I'm getting more jacked, and I like it. Like, I feel like I'm building more muscle. And losing a tiny bit of weight, but it's not like a crazy amount or nothing. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out this week. I think my body scan is this next week sometime. Maybe even tomorrow. I don't even know, dude. I'm kind of lost. I'm leaving for my trip, though, I think on Friday to Alaska. So, if you guys want to see some Alaska stuff, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm sure I'll make videos of it. And I'll probably make videos of me fishing because I think that's like the whole point of this trip is just to go there and fish and I have never enjoyed fishing really so who knows but apparently we're supposed to catch a lot of stuff because that's just something that happens like if I don't catch at least a hundred fish on this week that I'm fishing I will be surprised so that'll be the goal 100 fish a lot of fish uh, man I just feel like recently I have not had anything going on which I guess is kind of a good thing but like I've been waking up so late going to sleep so late I've been out of a routine for sure and uh, I feel like I've made this video like five times saying that I need to get back into a routine but every time I feel like I'm supposed to be getting back into a routine. I go on a vacation like right after. So I'm going to just force myself to stay out of a routine and just have fun for the next like week. And then once I get back, 
then I will have nothing that will mess up my stuff. And I will just be able to focus on whatever I need to focus on. I'll be able to do whatever business stuff. I can wake up at 4 a.m. every time if I wanted to, every day. And I'm not gonna play any video games until Black Ops 6 comes out. And the reason is, that'll give me two whole months that I can just focus, I can get the sleep I need, I can build the muscle that I can build, I can stay on a strict diet where I'm eating really good protein, and yeah, I guess that's about it. I can work out efficiently every day, because when I wake up early and I go to the gym before everything, those are the best workouts ever, dude. Like, there's something about just like, Having the start of your day as your workout, that just makes the workout so much more powerful. Because when I work out at night, I'm just like, I'm dead. I just want to go to sleep or like hang out and do nothing. So, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to get back into a routine. I'm very excited to. And I really need to work on the school stuff. I cannot believe that I've procrastinated that so hard that I just like haven't done it but I am going to definitely get started when we get back because I'm spending a hundred dollars a month for this thing that I haven't even really worked on and I've had it for I mean it's only been one like charge cycle I guess one uh, whatever one billing cycle so I've only spent a hundred bucks but all I need is two people to join my my school community and get jacked. And they will uh, make it free for me, I guess. So then I won't really have to worry about me spending money on it or nothing. Today is going to be a good day, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have a good morning. I hope y'all have a good morning too. And I hope y'all go to church because it's awesome. But if you don't, now you know. Jude 122. Be merciful to those whose faith is wavering. I really like that. That, uh, I don't know, I just, for some reason, seeing that just makes me understand a little more when people are, like, being stupid. Which, I, I it's like, it doesn't even say much. It just says to be more merciful to them. But, like, some people's faith will be wavering. So, gotta have mercy on them. But I guess I'm at the church. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we will be doing chest. No, we won't be doing chest. Chest yesterday. We'll be doing back. Heck yeah. Love hitting back. There's a dog. Little puppy dog. Every time I see a dog on the side of the road, I'm like, dang. I should just take that dog. But I can't take dogs because I'm allergic to them. It's very sad. All right. I'm at the church. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm heading back. And I hope you guys have a great day because it's Sunday. Sunday's a great day.